ke mami ta ba ke ve ke mo ni na kalo ba ga ikoku lo malangi na e na mo ni tiko tiko tambo boro boro na tutu ni ba mo ni na kalo sa tambongo na kalo ya parama i tsa kopi ni mami kalo ni ve ma ta ka ke ve nga ka na no mo ni bo sa turanga na te ke nduru na nduru ke ve nga na ya me ke ve nga na ba ka tu sa ni ko ni sa kalo ke mami sa ba ka bini bina ka na ka bini ko turanga ni ko ni sa bi ba ka ndei ta ki tiko na buku ni no mo ni ve le ta ki na ni mami bola kana no mo ni bo sa ni seng ndona ka sa ya ba ko ni sa seng ni da ka bo na kalo ni tu bo tu bo ngo ni pro ka ramu ngo ngo na ka ke ve nga ko ni da ka bo ti ko na kalo me ba ka zo ko ta ki ki na na mbula ena buru buru ko ni sa ba ka ro ta ka ve ki mami ena singa vi na ga dindai sa ma su la ka no ko turanga sa ba ka dambor na pro ka ramu mbimbi ngo na ke na ndola vi ti ko na graduation turanga na lo ma ni bo no ni pe ba ka ro ta ki ngo turanga ba ve ni pe na ka ta ka ni su le ni ke na ya lo ke na nra ki na ke na ba ka na na nu o ira turanga ra me vi ngo ma turanga na na ka o ni era za ka za ka ta ka ma i turanga na lo ma ni ba ni no na bulo ngo au sa ma su na ba ka nu nu i ki na ba ka mba u ta ba ka ve ni pe na ka ta ka no ra mbu le ve ke mu ni ve re na ve le u ta ki na ba le u ni sa ndola ba na ve ma te ni ka tu ba ni o ti na ta u ri bo la mbi mbi ngo turanga ni o ti na ke na ta u ri turanga na ke na ve ma te ni ka tu ma ko ni sa ndola ba na i zola zola mbi mbi ko ni sa ba ka ma ma nda ta ka na ka tu mba ta songo ko ni sa ndola ba e na kau kau ni adamu ni chisu karisto na ba le u na nomu ni ve le u ta ki na ba le u na nra ki na ba le u na kau kau na ngang ngang ve se re ki na ya lo e lo kumi ya la ko me ve ke mu ni na ya lo e ta ndola turanga me ve ke mu ni sa ba ka ve ni ve na ka ve ke mu ni e na ngara ve na songo ni ngo e na langi langi ki na kau kau ni ve le u ta ki ni a lo mu ni na ya lo tambu ma su ti ko na ba ka ve ni ve na ka ke na ba ka ro ko ro ko chisu ni ba ka mbu le ndi na i do mbonga emeni chisu Me. Honorable Rosie Akbar, Minister for Education, Heritage and Arts, His Excellency John Fix, Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, and Ms. Janelle Chapman, Interim CEO of APTC, and to all our viewers, Nisa Mbula Vinakasaka, and a warm welcome to you all. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all for yet another virtual graduation ceremony of the Australia Pacific Training Coalition. This evening, we will witness 321 Fijians receive Australian qualifications from a range of technical and vocational education and training courses. Dear graduates, while this is your time to celebrate, remember to acknowledge those who are part of your student journey your family, friends, trainers, and employers. We are equally proud of your achievements and hope that you will go on to be good ambassadors for yourselves first and foremost. We all commit ourselves to weaving together our support for Fijians who have been displaced or lost their jobs due to COVID-19. And your achievements will go a long way in rebuilding our economic environment that is enabling for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening's program will be as follow. We will pay respect to the national anthems of Fiji and Australia. We will hear from our keynote speaker, the Minister for Education, Heritage and Arts, Honorable Rosie Akbar, followed by the conferral and graduate roll call. We will then hear from our graduate speaker and end this evening's program with a closing address by the Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, His Excellency John Fix. Up next are the national anthems.
His Excellency John Fix, Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, Ms. Janelle Chapman, APTC Interim Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Jovesa Salandroka, APTC Country Director Fiji and Tuvalu, and to all our viewers, Nisambula Vinaka, and a very good afternoon to you all. It is a pleasure to be able to address you all today and deliver the keynote address as we celebrate the newest group of APTC's upcoming graduates. Education makes the impossible possible, and it is the one gift that no one can take away from you. Through education, the future is limitless and you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it and put in the time and efforts. I am sure that all of you have worked hard, spending countless hours studying, sacrificing your leisure time, all to further your education. To all those graduating today, I would like to say how proud I am of you. Your achievements today are only possible because you value education and you recognize the value and positive impact it can continue to have on your career. I commend you for persevering so that you can upskill yourselves as rep representatives of your workforce. Well done. You are what Fiji needs right now. Your skills and talents are what will drive Fiji and ensure that we get through the impact that COVID-19 pandemic has had on our nation. Because of this terrible pandemic, we all have had to adjust to a new normal, changing many things that we took for granted in the past. But with all the dark clouds that COVID-19 has brought to the world, there is also a silver lining. The challenges brought about by this pandemic has lit a fire, driving innovation as we have explored new ways in which we can cope together as a global community. We have been pushed to explore new ways in how to move beyond the traditional and previously established ways in how education and training could be delivered or received. And this also applies to how we celebrate the end result of this hard work and training. This will be my first time being part of an APTC virtual graduation, and I'm glad that we have found an innovative way in which we can recognize the achievements of today's graduates and acknowledge what is surely an important milestone in your lives. Today, we are virtually gathered to witness and congratulate 321 Fijian men and women as they receive 17 different qualifications in various in areas including construction, engineering, fashion, tourism and hospitality, aged care, education, counselling and international skills training. This variety of qualification is an excellent reflection of the wide range of skills and trades we have in Fiji and the potential of our people. I especially would like to mention the 103 women graduating today, 11 of whom will be receiving a Certificate 3 in carpentry. I am very happy to see the growing number of women who are taking up roles in trade and contributing to a more equality-based and gender-inclusive society and I would like to acknowledge the partnerships between ABTC, Habitat for Humanity and the Asian Development Bank that made their training possible. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, it also fills me with pride to see that we have four women among those who are graduating today who are hearing impaired. The Fijian government and organizations like the Fiji Deaf Association work very hard to ensure that Fijians with disabilities are afforded the same opportunities as everyone else so they can be active participants in society like everyone else and today is a wonderful example of that in action. As the Minister of Education, I have yet another reason for why this graduation is a special one. 35 teachers from schools all across the Fiji are graduating with the Diploma of Counselling. Our ministry recognises the importance of providing psychosocial support and we are prioritising taking care of mental health and welfare of our students. It has been a challenging year for everyone and our children are no exception. Not only have they had to endure a pandemic, but the recent cyclones have also left a wake of destruction in their path, destroying homes and properties of thousands of Fijians. It has been, a difficult, in a, it has been difficult enough for us as adults, and we can only imagine the traumatic effect it has had on our young ones. Ladies and gentlemen, studies show that when mental issues are left unresolved, such as trauma and depression in children, it can continue to negatively impact them as adults. This is why these newly trained counsellors are a much needed resource and they will play a vital role in school therapy and mentoring for at-risk and out-of-school students. 
I must also thank the Australian government who our ministry has been delighted to work with through ABTC and whose support has been instrumental in making this initiative a success. I thank the Australian government for the ongoing commitment to the Fijian education sector so we can continue to improve learning outcomes for our Fijian children. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, it has been a challenging year. The COVID-19 pandemic brought with it an unparalleled health and economic crisis to the entire world. And here in Fiji, we were also not left untouched. To keep our children safe, when the pandemic first hit, we quickly shut down schools and explored other avenues through which we could ensure continuity of education. Our tertiary educational institutions faced a similar challenge and also harnessed distant and remote learning tools, something which distinguished institutions like Harvard have also adapted. However, technical and vocational education and training, or TVET, due, its, due to its emphasis on practical and hands-on teaching and learning, is particularly challenging to deliver remotely. Online learning is more suited towards theoretical elements, and TVET programs re rely on realistic job demonstrations use of specialist equipment and learning by doing. The closure of work, workplaces, especially in the tourism industry, presented a further challenge as industry placements were no longer available. Despite these challenges, I'm proud that ABTC students were able to meet all requirements under the Australian Skills Quality Authority, completing their program and earning themselves the extra qualification, which is an extraordinary achievement. At the height of the lockdown, several standard global practices were tailored to a Fijian context and I am happy to note that ABTC in collaboration with the Fiji National University and the Fiji Higher Education Commission has finalized a national guideline on TVET remote delivery in a crisis which I believe is set to be released soon. I also commend the partnership between ABTC, UNDP, the United Nations Capital Development Fund the South Pacific Tourism Organization and the Fiji Hotel and Tourism Association that offered micro-credential courses for Fijians, Fijian employees affected by COVID-19. Today's graduation includes beneficiaries of this program who have completed the Digital Literacy East Citizen Skill Set. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government is committed to skills development and prioritizing Tibet in our education system. This year alone, the Fijian government has allocated 50 scholarships for diploma in counselling, as well as scholarships in areas of TVET, including culinary arts, early childhood care, fashion, horticulture, aquaculture, and small business management. We will continue to assist our young men and women in pursuing TVET training, so we recognise the essential role that vocational and trade workers play in our society and economy, and I look forward to seeing those who are graduating today take their place among them. Ladies and gentlemen, APT's goal and track record of producing quality graduates and working with and supporting local TVET institutions with the delivery of internationally recognized qualifications is specially commendable and is well aligned to the Fijian government's own initiatives. APTC has an excellent record having produced more than 15,000 Pacific Island women and men graduates in just over 13 years and Fiji has had the privilege of contributing to the most significant number of these graduates. I would once again like to express my sincere appreciation to the Australian government for the significant contribution in establishing ABTC, which is Australia's major investment in Tibet across the Pacific. This support provides Fijians with improved employment opportunities in a wide range of vocational careers by enabling them to gain Australian standard skills and qualification. The two main goals for skill development programs like these are to promote economic growth and contribute to broader social objectives such as improving access to TVET and other opportunities so that vulnerable or underprivileged groups such as people with disabilities also have the chance to enhance their skills and progress in life. We are honoured to have a very special relationship, our Vuvale relationship, and in addition to the many ways that the Australian government has aided Fiji and the Pacific, I must also express my heartfelt gratitude to them for assisting in the rebuilding cyclone-affected schools in the Northern Division. Ours is a bond that has endured for such a long time and I look forward to it continuing in the many, many years to come. Finally, I would like to turn my attention back to those who are graduating today. Congratulations.
and I commend you for your dedication and sacrifice in completing your studies. This graduation is all about you and you deserve to celebrate your hard-earned achievements. I encourage you all to make the best use of your newfound skills. It has been a great privilege to join everyone in today's celebrations and I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Minaka Vakalevu. Honourable Rosie Akbar, Minister for Education, Heritage and the Arts, His Excellency John Fix, Australian High Commissioner to Fiji, graduates and to our viewers. From here at the APTC Regional Head Office, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to our Fijian graduates. As the Interim Chief Executive Officer, it brings me great pleasure to confer today's awards. While we cannot have this ceremony together, we want you to know that we are still proud of your achievements. Our goal at APTC is to promote a more skilled, inclusive and productive workforce that enhances Pacific prosperity. By achieving this award today, you have demonstrated the impact education and training can have on Fiji. Despite the challenges brought on by COVID-19, I encourage you to think of innovative ways to use your newfound skills and keep striving for your goals. APTC remains committed to aligning our skills to economic recovery. Our courses remain industry relevant, so our graduates are well equipped to get jobs and contribute to the economy. We have also increased the range of training products. One example is the soon to be offered micro-credential course in COVID safe for dining and COVID safe for personal services and communication technologies for business success, designed to respond to the loss of jobs in Pacific tourism and hospitality industries. I am proud to mention that over 90 of those graduating today have already benefited from upskilling in the digital literacy e-citizen skill set. This skill set is part of APTC's response to prepare its graduates for future training and work environments post COVID. On behalf of all at APTC, I must say that it has been our privilege to be part of your learning journey. Today, you will also have the distinguished honor of being part of the APTC alumni. And I encourage all of you to stay connected through the APTC Fiji alumni chapter. You live our motto of creating skills for life, and I congratulate you all. That said, I will now move forward to confer the awards of today's ceremony. In accordance with the Australian Qualifications Framework and in recognition of the individual requirements of each qualification, I confirm that all graduates have met the requirements of their course of study as conferred by TAFE Queensland and delivered through the Australia Pacific Training Coalition. Congratulations to all our graduates. Certificate 2 in Electrotechnology. The trainers are Timothy Kiley and Seremaya Rambaramba. The graduates are Andiva Seva Laveti Komaina Vitilevo, Arieta Jennifer. Likuvedena Sokiveta, David Jonathan Ratnam Gander, Eremasi Tikundua Tuindama, Josefa Rosoro Vakarua, Lisa Senirewa Raiwale, Meriani Bolakoro Tandulala Nazangilevo, Merioni Jenes Tokalauvere, Ratu Veriniki Roseru V. Naiwasetawa. Ratuviliame Rosa Tikenda, Jordan Gumibutia, Sailasa Benjamin Turangaluvu, Simon Finau Kotoila Kemba, Tevita Dawaita Kali, Therese Josephine Hing, Adrian Vafou Manuel Changaya, Alefoso Sunisau Dava Serukai, Asenada Senikau, Eroni. Giolevo, Josefa Pulea Rokosuli, Ratu George Nasau Dalayawa Silatolo, Sairusi Laveta Junior Tora, Sakiusa Delailoa 
Wanga, Samson Koroi Jonathan Changaya, Sekove Vosambedi Ndrikimbau, Tailasa Korombalavu, Vasimada Lave Sivoi, Vilikesa Lilindamu. Those are the graduate for Certificate 2 in Electrotechnology. Certificate 2 in Skills for Work and Vocational Pathways, the trainers are Jay McDonald and Temalisi Lutu. The graduates are Andi Asenada Bau Osborne, Akeneta Wui Wuma, Alita Lemba Vosota, Ana Lubuiwai, Ana Nai, Bulo Bernadette, Deborah and Fion Venetia Nainovu, Kilisimere Dimbamba Tavatuilangi, Kuini Marama, Laisani Vosa, Lavenia Sungu Dolati, Luisa Wualiku Danyalao Tuiraviravi Davetelevu, Mamta Shivani Singh, Maria Tambutoa, Merceini Moli, Nancy Lorraine Mafutuna, Sekolatiki Juliana Kivi, and Vitalina Sakulaya. Those are the graduates for Certificate 2 in Skills Pathway. Certificate 3 in Air Conditioning and Refrigeration. The trainers are Viliame Tuivanga and Garth Bauer. The graduates are Joseph Leslie Sivo, Meli Rokotavo Baisangale, Nathani Dobulada Junior, Niumaya Sorodala Navanua Kamarusa, Wale Nanona Yavu Tikoina Sao, Ratu Aliferetti Kavurna Lase Bingitimbao, Abdul Nafid Adash Pavan Kumar. Brandon Alexander Matthew Mario, Desmond Benatino, Gary Isaiah Volau, Isimeli Vamarasi Aliferetti, Joseua Vosaki, Krishnil Kavietesh Prasad, Ratu Epeli Bingitimbao, Samisoni Lendumbula, Samuela Ralesi Tangi Copeland. Shelvin Selendra Gounder, Tawake Vela. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Air Conditioning and Refrigeration. Certificate 3 in Applied Fashion Design and Technology. The trainers are Arunesh Sami and Sanjeshni Devi. The graduates are Elisapedi Kotombalavu Wingilangila Wakolo, Elisoni Rakayalo, Melaya Dinailevo, Miriama Vonombale, Sambeta Devi, Eta Vila, Hassan Ali, Merle Sita Tamani Vula Matalomani, Nainasa Koto, Priyanka Anshula Singh, Shane Samuel Laboreal Pickering, Shawal Jotika Devi. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Applied Fashion, Design and Technology. Certificate 3 in Carpentry, the trainers are Paka Wakanivonoloa and Tevita the Waitakali. The graduates are Akombo Thomas Twinitonga, Devon Pal, Emosi Talonga, Epi Tambakau, Isireli Bonginivalu Naisoro, Josefa Tikosaya Tauriwau, Maika Tuimuru, Pita Bese, Rosavenada Kaukaliraki Longavatu, Saimoni Lingalaulau Buinakelo Kamikamida, Takefanga Lolohea Tuuta, Thomas Atha Raivotu. Watisoni Batiate Devo Masaunivalo, Weresili Ferro Suka, Andi Ana Tuikorobo Ratumuri, Andi Asenada Kurikamba Tonawai, Asilika Iowana Nanduba, Atelini 
Tuai Koi. Joyce Helen Shoot. Leanne Rosebell Hoyt. Litiana Lotu Narawa. Maria Dau Vedenavuka. Mariani Tinai. Senindamanu Rudi Daube Bukei Rasasake Ratumaitabuki. And Setaita Ratambua. Those are the graduate for Certificate 3 in Carpentry. Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery. The trainers are Alice Indelai and James Durangakula. The graduates are Anthony Allen Miller, Apolosi Navoka, Eliki Tambaka Sangasanga, Chope Soranavunida Damakau, Marika Kalodava Tambakisuva, Mary Divumotu Takala, Peniame Drova, Ravnil Ravikash Chand, Roko Chosaya Vularewa, Samuela Nawaimbalavu Silomea, Satrugan Sen Sahai, Sereyana Andi, Sienin Finau Uentabo, Sitiveni Kumbunavanoa, Sulueti Wati, Taitusi Talimaituo Kilendra Wale, Vasenai Mara, and Vishantran Vinay Sami. Those are the graduate for Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery. Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade, Maintenance, Diesel Fitting Pathway. The trainers are Maika Ndauniika and Mitiani Senduandua. The graduates are Ranish Rahul Raj, Ratu Servakula Dakuanga Votaturanga, Simone Natikura, Sainivalati Ratunranra, Solomone Vinakai Navono, Apimeleki Tevita Vedena, Eparama Raivanua Tamani Sautu Dame, Isikeli Tuiwainunu Vuruna, Jeremiah Chone Thomas Mani, Kafoa Voi Viliame, Mesulame to Kainivanua Ravo Vo Ravai, Mohammed Rijuan, Andre Vivabri Patmuleo, Opeti Kaloki Verata Tuinakelo, Paul Joseph Timothy Rabosea Wedlock, Shivnil Shavnit Chant, Tonga Raramasi Rayula. Those are the graduate for Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade, Maintenance, Diesel Fitting Pathway. Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade, Maintenance, Fitting and or Turning Pathway. The trainers are Wangavesi Mbulivakarua and Chone Talawa. The graduates are Daniel Emmanuel Choweli, Deshmo Naidu, Japeth Mateyalona Fihaki, Jashnil Singh, Chochi Koroita Noa Waitambu, Chosua Vola Vola, Chovilisi Tambuani Tonga Tuimereke Ngalomai, Mesake Nangele Dikamatana, Ratute Vita Ronaiva Kula Vatumaka, Simoni Koro, Se Mesa Puruya, Se Misi Rombana Kandavo, Aisake Fonorito Lorenti, Aliposo Nambete, Amena Dangilevu, Apenisa Malai Balelevuka, Choweli Raindre Tuiviti, Kinibuai Veikoso, Earl Kolikata, Mikaele Ratu Keretambua, Robert Tukanangasau Mario, Sakeo Velinikoro, Sherdat Shivlin Kumar, Simeone Rokoburai, and Wayne Gilbert Taukabe. Those are the graduate 
for Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade, Maintenance, Fitting and or Turning Pathway. Certificate 3 in Hospitality, the trainers are Temale Silutu, Margaret Masi. The graduates are Aquila Waka Nitonga Nakoro, Dindakai Lanieta Vasuki Lauvatu, Chimilai Yalimaiwai Sorondonu, Josefa Narambe Tove, Michaeli Tambua, Mayanaini Wati, Mereoni Gumi, Pedeli Nakulanisa Naisua, Sailosi Natandra, Samuela Mafua Dinavo, Sowani Ratuimbau, Suliano Tevitalaso, Suluya Vorati, Susana Maria Tanoa, Tevita Kula Nikoro Finau, Tevita Naulivo, and Willy Kong Dokana Singa. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Hospitality. Certificate 3 in Individual Support, Aging, Home, and Community. The trainers are Milia Kere Nasaroa and Jules Clifton Powell. The graduates are Arieta Tandulala Kuroitamana, Bulu Alisi Talatoka, Claire Laisani Stephen Sokowasa, Kapiliela Maria Fiakata Tunganga, Crystal Rebecca Lakshman, Queenie Naidola, Lani V. Ratuvu Gandriu, Lydia Susuai, Liliviwa Missy Misivore, Merelita Marama Dengei, Mereoni Marama, Merewalesi Mbulu Keina Singa Raseka Seka, Metuisela Longanimode, Sevanaya Rai Diu Diu, Sunita Devi Sundar, Tamarisi Tinai, Virginia Charlie, and Waisiki Dau. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Individual Support, Aging, Home and Community. Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology, the trainers are Ashbin Singh and Risiate Levadi. The graduates are Divikesh Kumar, Divnesh Divek Chand, Isireli Mbale Suva, Suliano Nangone Vulavula, Vuniani Vasuda, Kelemendi Achi Langi, Layekini Lendua Tikondombui, Sandip Prasad, and Viliame Wainingolo. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating, the trainers are Mavukuto Kona and Eroni Vina Villakemba. The graduates are Alikisiyo Kanasalusalu, Apeta Apete Kulaniasiasi, John Raivotu Jr., Mitieli Wase Sakura, Osea Peteron Ruandrua, Siaki Veriumbia Malo, Sunia Raoma, Brady Vitokai Brexton, Petero Komai, Semiti Marika Seseni, Etunieseru Wipi Tuivonokula, Felipe Ndulakimbau, Chowape Sarewa, Makereta Vunidokula, Marika Rokongida, Ratu Epeli, Kana Mawi, Kana Tambatu, Leveni Lovo, Ului Nanda, Tokala Uvere. Ratu Vereti, Tikundramai, Vakadoko Vanua, Naiwasetawa. Selepa, Monise, and Tui Mateo, Mbuatawa, Songotumbu. These are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating. Certificate 3 in Tourism, the trainers are Evelyn Maseng and Rosalyn Avok. The graduates are Laisani Bukawanga Turangakula, Litia Abigail Daphne Galomaiwasa, and Tulia Taufa. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Tourism. Certificate 3 in Wall and Floor Tiling. The trainers are Semiti Tumberi and Ziad Hussein. The graduates are Apisalome Tuvura, Christopher Leslie Bali, Philemon Mbale, 
Iliesa Wakaro Kipedeli Madama, Chalesi Ratuvo Randrondro, Kalevati Sasalu, Kemnueli Ratumai Choma, Mosese Fotu Baleva Noalala, Mosese Verumbasanga, Peni Delai Mbula Maimbao, Rupeni Ratawake, Sayasi Garnivalu Rarawa Rokongida, Waisea Rongoyawa, Aquila Mbati Koroi, Epeli Tukana, Gerard Gustav Müller, Ilomotama Virikindaveta, Israeli Tawake, Choni Tupo Levavanavanua, Metui Selavukivi, Naimbuka Serulangeti Verevondi, and William Boselevu. Those are the graduates for Certificate 3 in Wall and Floor Tiling. Diploma of Counseling, the trainees are Alita Wangambada and Lemba Korevuki. The graduates are Ellis Fong Pickering, Archana Arti Ram, Aseri Nalioningata, Avit Avin Kumar, Avinesh Chand, Avinesh Raj Narayan, Bimlesh Prasad Karan, Evelina Senimarama, Eseta Tinai, Fosmin Farzana Hussein, Josefa Mbalendaveta, Josua Nakatasavu Naisele, Jotish Nawati, Matayasi Sereki, Miliame Randini Wasa Tamanisau, Mosese Tundravu, Naomi Veiseitiko and Vangunu, Pranil Sharma, Preai Darsin Prasad, Rabnil Vikash Ratan, Rajbindra Singh, Ravikendra Sinha Singh, Razia Bano, Ronil Ritesh Prasad, Rosalia Mbuambeta Tambuamba Songa Rova, Sangita Devi Prasad, Sima Shalini Deo, Shalen Kumar, Shariza Hak, Shelvin Siwan Reddy, Sirulo Vula Ono Vukida, Suresh Chand, Unaisi Seru, Vilsimani Numileva Rakikau, and Virisila very value. Those are the graduates for Diploma of Counseling. International Skills Training. The trainer is Raj Kapoor. The graduates are Abdul Hakim, Alice Indelai, Filimoni Tangidakimbao, Mitieli Naudambalavu, Mitieli Rati Naisiwa, Navitalai Navendru, Prashila Mohini, Saimoni Bembenisala, Seleshni Naidu Lalji, Savenada Raiwalui, Seresio Verivalu, Viliame Matakimbau, Asesela Mbulewa, Carol Chen, Domitila Rokotuitai, Isoa Junior, Chaochi Besetimoala, Chonati Daudakadaka, Lavenia Dolavi, Madhiu Vunivesilevu, Ratumarika Rodha Maisala, Sajendra Bali, Sajiva Sharma, Shomas Chand, Apakuki Tukana, Eshbin Singh, Chone Talawa, Mitiani Senduandua, Semiti Tumberi, Ratu Eroni Dinavila Kemba, Sikeli Modewai, Tevita Dawai Takali, Salanieta Tikonduandua, Rokowati Koroin de la Iverata, Dangi Lamba Wetea Langi, Emile Vakarau, George Ma, Mosese Nusere, Anthony Blake, and Matilita Vakadengu. Those are the graduates for International Skills Training. Honorable Rosie Akbar, Minister for Education, Heritage and Arts. His Excellency John Fix, Australian High Commissioner to Fiji. Ms. Janelle Chapman, Interim APTC Chief Executive Officer. Mr. Tsovesa Salondoka, APTC Country Director for Fiji and Tuvalu. Families, friends and fellow graduates, Bolovinaka to you all. On behalf of my fellow graduate, 
I'm honored to be sharing a few words of thanks to this esteemed body for providing us with the opportunity to attain Australian level qualifications. With the skill sets we've acquired from your institution, the value of your investment in education in Fiji and the region will be proven by graduates' contribution to Fiji and the Pacific's development. In light of the global pandemic, we are incredibly grateful that the 2020 cohort was given the opportunity to receive quality training that has resulted in high standard qualifications. To my fellow graduates, congratulations in successfully completing your studies. This is another milestone in our lives. I'm confident this platform will launch us into our respective fields. That is the main significance of today. We are all in a new place. There will be more challenges for sure, but through a personal commitment and career design, our efforts will not go to waste. Graduation is not an end goal in itself, but part of a long journey. Be humble, but take charge of your life. Humility includes being bold and willing to put yourself in the spotlight when you need to. Our journey will take us down a separate path, and I hope you all meet the goals we have set for ourselves with uh, grit and determination. This launching point will propel us to great futures, and we don't have to stop there. This graduation has already shown us how capable we all are. Let us take this personal accomplishment as an example of how anything and everything is truly really possible when we put our minds to it. We have all just been handed a new set of tools for our toolkits, so despite the challenges we will undoubtedly face, we stand ready to take them on. Nothing worthwhile is easy, and that includes making the most of opportunities. Keep pushing because we know we can achieve our dreams because we are worthy of them. As we all been allowed, uh, we have all been allowed to grow as individuals, as a collective of individuals who are now expert tradespeople. We will eventually add value to our region's development. As a growing collective, we will contribute to regional efforts towards becoming more robust and vibrant economies. Our available contribution will have long-term impacts on connecting the Pacific to development and excellence. Congratulations to the graduates of 2020, Vinaka. Graduates, the Hon. Rosie Akbar, Minister for Education, Heritage and the Arts. Ms. Janelle Chapman, Interim CEO of APTC. Mr. Dravesa Saladoka, APTC Country Director, Fiji and Tuvalu. To our viewers, good evening. On behalf of the Australian Government, it gives me great pleasure to join you all for the Australia Pacific Training Coalition Virtual Graduation Ceremony. While the global impact of COVID-19 has been disheartening, the provision of learning solutions for ongoing skills development are exploding with innovation and advancement. It has made flexible remote learning and digital platforms essential, and Fiji is a leader in this regard. For this, I must congratulate APTC and its key partners, the Fiji Higher Education Commission and Fiji National University in formulating a guideline, namely TVET remote delivery in a crisis to help in this area. This guideline, I believe, is the first for the region. Before continuing, let me congratulate the 321 men and women who have attained qualifications in 17 areas. These include construction, engineering, fashion, tourism and hospitality, aged care, education, counselling and international skills. We share your excitement as we celebrate this day with you. This is a stepping stone as you embark on contributing to a more skilled, inclusive and productive workforce for Fiji. Well done. Edu Education is one of Australia's highest priorities for Australia's aid program, as it is central to Fiji's development. We are Fiji's key partner in TVET, and we work in collaboration with the public sector, private sector, civil societies, and key institutions to boost the quality of vocational education, as well as responding to COVID-19 and relief responses to national disasters. As Pacific economies continue to grow and participate in the global economy, technical and vocational skills are even more relevant in supporting the various 
workforce needs that exist in the range of industry sectors. APTC is here to address these needs for increased employability for individuals and increased productivity in targeted industry sectors. This has enabled APTC to support strategic approach to achieving economic and training development outcomes. It is also through these partnerships that courses are demand driven and promote favourable employment prospects for APTC graduates. Graduates, as you embark on a new chapter, we share your hopes for a prosperous future for yourselves, for your families and for your communities. I'd like to commend you for your effort in completing your program and would like to thank your families and friends who have supported you on this journey. You are now part of the 15,000 strong network of APTC alumni. I encourage you to remain engaged, seek support and take every opportunity to, to be positive role models and contributors to your country. Thank you also to the APTC management and staff for their guidance which has culminated in today's graduation ceremony. Congratulations again and God bless you all. Let us pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the achievement that has been recognized today and we dedicate the lives of our students into your hands. We pray, Lord, that they will become a blessing in the different places they will serve out there in the community. Dismiss us all with your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.